Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're gonna be building a volley tank. Now what that means is one gun is fire gonna fire after the other, and we're gonna have a big long line of guns, and hopefully they'll all fire and do some serious damage. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the scenario and see if we can actually get this to uh, to work. Okay, so before we start, I did actually build this thing yesterday, and honestly, I think it looks pretty good. It's not quite the same as the L333 because this is a little bit off, uh, but honestly, I think we've done a pretty good job with this. If you want to see the build of it, check out the previous video. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can build a, a, a cool volley tank. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so first things first, we're gonna get rid of the fenders yet again. There we go, awesome. We're then gonna go to compartments, and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and make it into one of those, and then we can start designing the tank itself. I'm not entirely sure how I want this to look, I really don't know, but um, yeah, let's figure it out together. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we actually extend these guys upwards, just like so, and we have this go as far forward, sort of, as it can. Uh, just like so, and I think that will be, uh, that'll be awesome. We're then gonna go ahead and extend this guy backwards. Yes, that's fair. And we're gonna go ahead and separate them out as well. So, one point, actually, let's go with two meters. There we go. It is gonna be a chunky wide tank. That is, that is fine. That's okay. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add these guys. There we go. Uh, the tracks themselves are actually gonna be a little wider too, so 0.75. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to go ahead and make them a little bit bigger too. So the width, we're going to go ahead and send this guy out to there. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have the road wheels interleaved. There we go. And we're going to make the width of those a little bit smaller. There we go. Nice. Okay. Um, actually, the width of this, a little bit less. There. We're going to go with that. That's fantastic, I think. Um, then we're going to go to the return rollers. And we're going to make the width on that a little bit wider too. Uh, just so that it fits a little bit. Good. Yeah. Okay, I also made them a little bit bigger too, because I felt like they're a little bit too small. So, we're good now. There we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the mounts. We'll also make them look pretty. Uh, do more mounts. There we go. Make them look pretty again. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to continue to do this as we go backwards. The track segments themselves are going to look like these ones. And we're going to make them a little bit bigger too. So, uh, thickness, we're going to go up quite a lot. There we go. We're going to go to uh, that. There we go. And we're going to go and increase this to 0.25 and hopefully that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do then is actually, uh, I've extended it down as you guys can already see and uh, essentially, we're just going to go ahead and have this um, positioned right here. This is fine. We're going to extend this guy forwards, bring it out a little bit like so. We're going to extend this guy upwards just like that and this guy downwards just like so. And then we can fit everything else on there. So this is essentially just a body that is going to hold a, a big gun. It is going to hold a big, big gun. But uh, I'm hoping um, that it will actually fit and work. <laughs> if it doesn't fit and work, I'm not sure what to do. But it will be okay, I think. We got this. Alright, so let's go ahead and extend this guy backwards. Actually, no, we'll do it with both. There we go. So grab these guys too. Uh, we're going to go ahead and extend it. There we go. Bring it backwards to the very back. Uh, to about there. And then we're going to go ahead and do this and this downwards like so. Okay, fantastic. I think that is alright. Yeah. Okay, so I've just added these little sponsors on the side as well. And honestly, I think they look okay like that. So, we're essentially just going to leave it as is. Um, the last thing that I want to do is actually just go ahead and add the uh, the gunners. Sorry, the driver's view on this. Uh, clearly we need a driver to actually drive it, so that's why we're going to have this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and extend this, make it a little bit bigger. And then what we're going to do is, we're actually going to add the hatch for this guy straight away. We do have room for it, so we're just going to go ahead and slot it right in there. Um, honestly, we're actually going to go ahead and have two of these, and we'll have a gunner on the other side. Because, seriously, um, oh really, I, I want to add a gunner, so there you go. Realistically, a tank like this probably wouldn't have a gunner like that, but that's okay. Anyway, extend that guy backwards. Viewports, we're going to go ahead and attach some of these. So we're going to do that off to the side. Do it on both sides. There we go. And do one forwards. There we go. And do one on the other side too. There we go. That's, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so what is the next thing that we really need? Well, it's probably a gun. So let's go ahead and put our turret on. There we go. 
Uh, and that turret looks tiny. <laughs> that turret actually looks really small. Um, it's my job now to actually design a turret that uh, is a volley tank turret. So we are actually going to bring this to the sides. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually extend it out even further. Yes, uh, just like so. Okay, good. We're going to go ahead and bring this guy and this guy uh, upwards. Just a little touch. Actually, yeah, we can do it like this. That's fine. We're then going to extend it downwards using this guy. So extend that. There we go. Bring it down. And then squidge it together. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Squidge it together. Very weird. But that's okay. Good. And then I actually do want it to be slightly angled too. So let's grab this guy. Send it backwards like so. But I want it to be really tall. <laughs> yeah, I want it to look like this a little bit. There we go. Good. Uh, I'm then going to go ahead and grab this. And bring this forwards. Just like so. And yeah, I don't know what to do with the back end. But for now, that's okay. Alright, excellent. So extend this out the sides. And then I want to squidge it using the squidgy tool. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, kind of. Uh, just like this. And then I want to squidge it the other way too. So if I can do that, that'd be perfect. Okay. Very, very strange looking vehicle so far. <laughs> very strange. But I'm assuming it's going to work. Okay, so uh, it is now my job to put on here a bunch of guns. So... Uh, we're going to do it symmetrically, so we're going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to try and put on sort of as many as I can. There we go. And now we've got five guns. It can be a volley tank with five guns. I think this will work. Yeah. It's ugly, but we can we can get this to work, maybe. Okay, so uh, I've added this little hatch in the middle. I've also moved the turret backwards, and that is uh, kind of interesting. I think <laughs> I think it's fine, but it's it's interesting. Anyway, uh, it says it's not connected. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, we could get it connected soon. Anyway, let's go and extend this guy backwards just like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and squidge it because I want it to be squidged just like so a little bit. And I'm also going to squidge it sideways too. There we go. That's, I mean, that's a very strange looking vehicle. But uh, it is what we have. It is what we are working with. So that's what we are doing. Anyway, extend this up. Try and make this fit a little bit better. And then bring this back down. Hey, there we go. All right, I don't want it down inside of there. I want it on top. There we go. Okay, so we got our tank. I think I'm happy with this. Maybe. Anyway, um, right, let's go to this and let's figure this out. So, uh, 75 millimeter guns. I mean, I would assume that is pretty good. Let's go with 76 millimeters instead. And the um, propellant length is actually going to be about 500. There we go. Okay, good. Since it's going to be a volley tank, this is going to be interesting. But length, we're going to go ahead and increase. Why does it do it on every other one but the one that I'm selected? This doesn't make any sense. Hang on. Select a different one, then come back. Extend it. There we go. Why is it different? Why is this one different? I don't know. I don't quite understand. Okay, there we go. Now they all should be the same, right? No. No, they're not. I don't understand. <laughs> anyway. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. We'll go ahead and add another one, make that bigger, and ooh, the propellant length needs to be the same as every other one, so 500, 500, and it also needs to be a 76 millimeter gun, there we go, and I'm happy with that, I think, we're going to go ahead and add that to the end, okay, what happens if I do this, actually, I want it to be longer, okay, we get, we're going to make it longer, we're going to make this even bigger too, 750. There we go. And then I think we can probably get away with doing this. There we go. Okay, perfect. So it goes through. Oh, this is early war. That's why. That's why. Okay. Uh, extend this bigger. 193 millimeters. Woo! She! Okay, right. That's fine. So it'll go through 193 millimeters of armor. That works, I think. So now... We just need the same gun on every other one of these, and that'll be fine, maybe. This is a pretty weird looking machine, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the actual, um, the actual, uh, hull of the tank, uh, would be a pretty cool thing, uh, by itself. But honestly, uh, with the addition of this bit up here, I think it's still fine. I do. I still think it's okay, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and extend that forwards too. Uh, and yeah, this bit just looks very, very strange. But we kind of need this much room in order to hold five big guns. So, I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so next thing, we need a loader for each gun. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. There we go. And I think we've got all of the loaders, do we? 
That's one per gun. Excellent. And then we need the gunner to fire every single gun too, which does this. And then we should be able to actually fire them off. Okay. They won't aim correctly, but that's all right. So what we need to do then is actually add some ammunition to this, because currently we have no ammunition. Uh, we're going to go ahead and store it inside of here. Inside the actual turret itself. Um, and that is A-OK. -okay. We're going to bring it out to the side. And yeah, we're going to have lots of it. We're going to have lots of it. There we go. We're also going to have some spare ammunition down here inside the tank itself. Because uh, I think that makes a little bit of sense. There we go. Okay, good. So we have 108 rounds. Let's see if we can fire them off. One, two, three, go. Oh, yes. All right. I want this to look a little bit nicer in terms of the actual turret itself. And then we'll go to war. Okay, so there we go. What do we think of this? I know it's still pretty ugly, but um, I think it also sort of works. I don't actually like the fact that it is squidged in at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and try and unsquidge it from the bottom. And uh, hopefully that'll be okay. So let's go from here outwards. There we go. Excellent. And um, yeah, I think that looks a little bit better. <laughs> it still looks very strange, but I think it looks better. Okay, so now it's time to actually add uh, the mobility, get it actually working better. We're going to go ahead and only give it 60 liters of fuel. There we go. The engine itself is going to be a heavy one because it's going to have to be. We're going to go with a 16 cylinder. Uh, four per cylinder. There we go. And 2,400 is what we're going to put in here. 1,200 is what we're going to put in there. Wait, that's not right. Four, 200. No, two, sorry, what am I doing? Two, 400. One, 200. Yeah, that's right. Okay, does it drive? Oh, it's fast. <laughs> it is pretty quick, actually. Okay, good. And then what do we need to do? We actually need to add everything else. So, stuff like the engine bay and stuff like that needs adding. So, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to add the engine bay. And then we're going to test this out in an actual battle. Okay, you're going to be surprised with this one. I haven't added any rivets. <laughs> there are no rivets being added to this. So, uh, yeah, that's good. Anyway, it's going to be French. Um, I, I don't really know the reasonings behind it being French, but I feel like it looks a little bit French in terms of its huge gun. I don't know. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to send this thing into battle. Uh, I do need to add a little bit of armor to the front. We're not going to add any armor anywhere else, and hopefully this thing doesn't die straight away. Um, and then I think we might actually be able to win win this battle. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Okay, we weigh 40 tons. We're going into battle. Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. I really don't. We're really fast. We have got 10 millimeters of armor everywhere except from the front, where we have 200 mil on the gun. We have um, a little bit less on the hull, and that is it. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, uh, we don't get shot an awful lot, and we will succeed. But we'll have to wait and see for that. Okay, the enemy has spawned in. Let's go ahead and see if we can see them and then shoot them, I guess. All right, here we go. There's one. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, there's one dead. Reload the guns. Fire! There's two dead. Okay, awesome. Off to this side. Three, two, one. Fire! Okay, it seems like a waste during a volley. I'm not going to lie, but it is exciting. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. They're all dead. All right, move on to the next ones. Let's go. I'm not going to lie either. I'm going to run out of ammunition before anything else happens, but I, I guess that's fine. Uh, oh, they're already fighting. They're already trying to fight them. I don't think they're going to be able to kill them from there, are they? I don't think so. It's going to be quite tricky, I think. Oh, they're trying, though. They are trying. Okay, I'm going in. Going in. Oh, they've killed one tiger. Okay. One tiger has been destroyed. Let's go ahead and line ourselves up. Another tiger has been destroyed. My, One of my loaders is dead. Oh, I missed. I missed big time. Oh, why is my gun off, off center now? Oh, I've died. I have died. Okay, let's get down there. I might have to do the tactic of hiding in a hole again. We'll see. Ooh! Hang on, has he just been blown up? He's just been blown up. He's just about to kill me too. Okay, let's get ourselves in a situation where we, we're good to go. One of my tanks is taking out all of the enemies, it turns out. Uh, there are two left. There's one there, and then there's one there-ish, I think. Oh, I don't know which one of these is alive. Is that guy alive? 
I have no idea. I know that that guy's alive. But it's not working. Oh, I just killed it in one shot. <laughs> okay, and then I don't know which other tank is alive. Oh, that one. It's that one. All right, we hit it once. Here we go. We hit it once again. Okay. We've killed it. We did it, guys. We actually did it. Amazing. Okay, so it works. At least it works on this map. Let's try it on a different one. Okie dokie, here we go. So we're now on the, uh, the the snowy map, obviously, as you guys can see. Uh, we need to get ourselves in a defensible position. This tank is just a bit too big to hide, uh, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, is that a King Tiger? It is. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know if I can get through that, that thing's armor. <laughs> oh, I just got shot in the side and died. Okay, this one's rammed a tree, and this is my final tank. Okay, of course it is. Of course it is. Okay, let's go sideways. I need to get in a really defensible position here, which um, is quite tricky, I'm not going to lie. Is there an enemy over there? Oh, I just got shot on the other side. Oh, okay. Right, so it turns out, on this map, it's quite tricky, actually. It's very tricky to, to one, get through the King Tiger's armor with a 76mm gun, and... Um, <laughs> Oh, frontal armor, anyway. Oh, it's just killed a centurion. Okay, well, centurion's easier than a king tiger. All right, let's get up here and see what else we can see. Can I see any other enemies? No. Apparently, there's a good few remaining, but I don't... Uh, they just tried to shoot me. I'm out of here. I'm going to go around, hopefully be able to just take on a few at a time. Because there's, there's two of them right here. Ow, I just got shot in the side. Oh, uh oh, my engine's dead. Uh oh. Means I can't turn my guns very quickly. Oh, yikes! Oh, I couldn't shoot in time! I'm gonna die! No! Oh, fire! Okay, right. That's not going well. <laughs> what else is going on? What else is happening? Has this guy rammed a tree and everybody's damaged? That's what's happened. Okay, right. I can't see the enemies. Is that one? I didn't go through them. All right, hang on. Three, two, one. Hey, that one's dead. Okay, any more? There's another one up there somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, there it is. No, it's not. Oh, yikes. Okay, I don't know where the other tank is. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, there's one. I don't think I can shoot it in time. That's not going to work. I'm going to try and take out this guy first. It didn't fire all my guns. No! Alright, that one's dead. Turn the turn sideways. Alright, we just tanked that hit. Three, two, one. Alright, that one's dead. Okay, excellent. Wait, it's not. Not dead. Not dead. No! I thought he was dead. Oh, yikes. Okay, so on this map, the tank turns out to be... Very difficult to use, especially if they can flank me. But to be fair, we knew that anyway. <laughs> I already knew that it wouldn't be very good on this map because of, uh, of how this tank works. That one is going for it, and it is going to die straight away, I think. It's going to pay the price pretty quickly. Anyway, I'm going to go all the way out here, and I'm going to turn sideways so we can use this hill as our um, defense. Here we go. And we're going to see what happens from here. Okay, do we see any enemy? Oh, i just seen it too. Oh, we've rammed a tree. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm actually stuck. Uh, let me out. Let me out. There we go. Okay, who's even shooting at me? Where are you? There's a tank going to be right behind me any second. I'm going in. I'm going in. Charge! I don't see the enemy. That camouflage is so good. <laughs> I, I don't see it. This is, there should be a tank here. Ow! Ow! 
There's one there. Uh, uh, it's like invisible. And then there's one there and one there. Oh, they didn't move out their, their, their side. Okay. All right, come on. We got this this time. My tank is already firing off to the side of me. Okay, let's see if we can see the enemy that they're shooting at. Oh, there's one. Alright, that one's dead. Okay, good. Next. There's one apparently behind this tree somewhere. There? there? I can't really see it. Uh-oh. There it is. Okay. Oh, I died. <laughs> oh, the other one died. Okay, not very good on this map, turns out. Okay, we're going to try it on this map instead. There is four of us versus um, eight of them. I'm going to take this tank off out to the side instead of pushing it forwards. And hopefully we can actually defend with this. Um, it might work. It might also not work. I don't know whether the AI is comfortable with having like a volley gun. I, I really don't know. But um, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and sit out here. Hopefully this is far enough, and we're going to wait. We're going to sit and wait. Clearly this isn't quite how you'd use this tank in battles either. You wouldn't use this tank to like, I don't know, attack the enemy. You would you would sort of set up an ambush for the enemy instead. That, that's more how this tank would work. Also, those guys are shooting at me on the left, but I need to take out that guy on the right. So I'm going to do that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, that guy's dead, turns out. Oh, there's a guy. Alright, that one's dead. Excellent. There's a tank flying down the hill. Oh, that one's dead. Good. Tank at the top of the hill. That one is dead also. There is two remaining. They haven't taken out any of us. Right, let's get over there to that side. Oh, they've taken out one of them. They've taken out one of my tanks. We're going to get over there. They've taken out two of them. Oh no. My two tanks on the left hand side have been taken out. Alright, let's point towards this guy. Three, two, one. I only fired three of the four shots there. The problem is I can't actually see. <laughs> Whenever I've shot a round off, I can't see the rest. I blew up the fuel tank on the back. My driver is dead. Oh, I died. Okay, we can't kill this tank. My gun isn't good enough to kill him. It's not good enough. I can't get through his armor. Wow, one tank just took out four of mine. Ridiculous. It was going so well, too. It was going so well. Anyway, um, I think I'm probably going to end this video here. It was a little bit of a dumb design, uh, but I thought it might be pretty cool. And honestly, it was quite cool. It just didn't quite work out. But anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any suggestions on things that we should make, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.